Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and I've got an update on this flower pot series. Okay, so what I tried to do was to get some kind of an underglaze painting on top of the surface of a bunch of these flower pots that would eventually be used to show through the glaze. Um, so what I want to do is just go over some of the results. Unfortunately, this one is not really showing through, and this is one of the better ones. So when I look at this one, it appears that the glaze is way too thick, and there's some some bubbling or spotting that's happening in the areas where the glaze had scratching down inside. It still looks like a pretty reasonable pot, but definitely something I wouldn't sell or wouldn't give to somebody else. So I gotta figure out if I'm gonna donate it. I might just smash it because my name's on the bottom, so we'll figure it out. Um, here's another one. I used a transparent pink glaze from Laguna Clay. So it's definitely showing through However, it's very hard to make out some of the details of the papel picado and it's very hard to tell that that's even a flower right there. So this again, here's another one that's kind of a failure. Real pretty on the inside. You know, I'm losing a little bit of light. It's about uh, it's about a quarter to 6 p.m. right now. So I don't have that much light in the backyard. Here's another one with that ice pink from Laguna Clay. Can't see the underglaze showing through. I'm wondering if I if I had done three coats of the underglaze instead of two if it would have shown through. But also I could have done a quicker dip with the actual clay body. This right here at the bottom was a super quick dip. Very very quick. So you can kind of see how the signature shows up pretty nicely. And it's got that it's got that positive space iron oxide that I painted on and then the negative space is all the, uh, the letters that I scratched away okay so it's definitely functional but doesn't look the way I want it to so it's probably gonna be another one that gets smashed okay here's the last one with the papel picado now this one looks really good and that you can't see any <laughs> Well, you can, but you know, and the little little speckle marks and the pock marks. But you can't really tell that there's a design underneath. So I think what I'm going to do is to go and uh, I'll probably set this one up as a prize that I'll give to some of the folks who attend at the attend the event on Friday. Um, definitely looks really nice, but you can't see that design work, which is really frustrating. So I'm starting to think that maybe I need to do a transparent glaze on top of this instead of something that's like a like a gloss glaze like this colonial white. Now with that iron oxide you can see that at the bottom but again most of the darkness is not showing through so yeah, I'm not sure maybe it's gonna have to be choose a nice clay body that works out and then after that um, just do a transparent glaze if I'm going to do any painting work on top. So this is definitely a keeper. Alright, here's a heartbreak number one. <laughs> so this one I did a decal transfer of Frida. So I did something in Photoshop. I printed it out, I traced it, and then I painted over the tracing on newsprint paper. And then after that I painted the flowers behind it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Um, in the previous video, there was part of it showing how I was spraying it with an aerator. So the portion where I was spraying with the aerator actually came out pretty good. But one of the things I did later was to do a pour on the inside. And then after the pour, I did a nice dip to make sure that I got the lip covered. So it did a good job in covering this part right here. But this, this white glaze is definitely not transparent. So even with all of that built up black right there, um, it's starting to show through. However, it doesn't really do that good of a job. And you can get the faint hint of the flowers uh, behind. So here's another one that's gonna get smashed. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
And then finally, here's the last one. So if you recall, I did one with an oval opening. So I went in through a round pot, and as soon as I took it off of the took it off the wheel with the bat, what I did was I gave it a little tug, and then it got this oval shape to show up. Now I was hoping to have this wider diameter over here at the top to show the front, and then a shorter diameter. So hopefully flowers would be able to have like a like a flat surface or a plane in which they you know they show up. But um, yeah, it didn't really work out. For instance, if you look at the bottom, um, I definitely put too much glaze, and this glaze is not—it's not transparent, so you can't even see the uh, the signature at the bottom. And um, yeah, you can you can you can tell that there's an image of Frida right there, but you can't really tell. It just looks really poorly done. So this is another one that needs to get smashed also. Um, so it's funny because my wife typically says she has trouble seeing the shortcomings of the pottery that I do. However, this one really bugs her because she knows there's supposed to be a Frida underneath, but it just doesn't show up. So it just really bugs her. Um, it's really hard to tell that uh, there's any yellow or orange underneath as well. So that's definitely part of the problem. So uh, this maybe this will go into the next smash vid. So I don't know, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I've only got two more days until uh, Day of the Dead. Um, but here's the thing with pottery, you're gonna have to embrace these failures and do the best you can to try to learn from them so you don't replicate some of these issues. But with that is, um, you also need to be smart about what you do choose and how you go about with your experimentation. So as it turns out, there's one pot that I did that turned out really good. So this is one of the decal transfers and I did a super quick dip with some of the, uh, some of the pink ice transparent glaze I have an interior that's white um, and of course I have that decal on the outside. So there's some glaring issues that need some work, however it's functional, it still looks nice. Um, so I think I'm okay, I'm going to definitely keep this one, I'm not going to smash this one. But what am I going to do for the Day of the Dead Festival? <laughs> I'm going to bring back those ramen bowls with the pouring spouts. So. Now I've got to hurry up and go to the grocery store and buy packages of cheap 25 cent ramen. <laughs> and then what I'll do is maybe find some cheap chopsticks as well. I'll have some kind of a, a speckled buff type of an activity. Maybe I'll paint some kind of a, a sign that says ramen time or maybe I'll do a block print. So. Hi, what are you doing down here I'm recording a video. All right, so here's the last one. <laughs> I've got a fourth ramen bowl. There's that little there's that little hole in the back. So when I put the chopsticks at the top, it'll rest across. And of course, there's a pouring spout that you can drink from. <laughs> Don't advise it. Or you could just pour from it. So, yeah, these came out really nice. I'm really pleased with the way they look. So I think this will be a good prize for somebody. So we'll definitely have four ramen bowls going out, and then one of these guys, a nice flower pot with the marigold flowers. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.